Hello again, and welcome to Moodle for Everyone. I'm Dr. Edward Bethel, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Moodle Advanced Grading Options to uh, either add a marking guide or a rubric to your assignment grading. So in this video, we're going to look at, at the marking guide, and in a subsequent video, we're going to look at the rubric. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go to one of my assignments. And really, the point of this is to uh, give you a much more flexibility in how you can set up grading for your assignments. At present, if you're just using simple grading, you're basically having to just grade the assignments uh, freehand. But Moodle will allow you to actually set up a marking guide or a rubric system to grade it. So that's what we're going to be looking at today. And the first thing I'm going to do is to go to this assignment that I have created uh, in week one. So I'm just going to click on it. And the first thing that I want to do is to edit this assignment. Now, I need to edit both the description and I need to make sure that I have advanced grading. So I'm going to go and click on the um, settings cogwheel to the top right, as always. But I'm going to note that when you click this, you can actually go ahead and set advanced grading directly from this settings card wheel down here. I actually want to change the setting that allows me to, to, to describe the assignment as well. So I'm going to do it from the edit settings window. So when I'm taken there, the first thing I'm going to do is actually to define the assignment itself and change this description. So I'm going to make this uh, assignment. Well, first of all, I'm going to call this week one assignment assessment online, and I'm going to call. I'm going to give the description of this assignment. Write one paragraph describing at least three modes of online assessment. Good. So that's the assignment that the students will have to do. Uh, I'm not going to worry about any of the availability because that's not what we're really concerned about today. And then the next thing I want to do is go ahead and set my advanced grading. So I go down to grade. And you will see that by default, it's set to simple direct grading. Well, first of all, I'm going to just change the maximum grade to 10 points because this is a small assignment. But I particularly want to change this grading method from simple direct grading to marking guide. And uh, once I go ahead and set that, I'm going to click Save and Display. And Moodle should give me a message saying that I now have to define my marking guide. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to give it a name, and I'm going to call it a marking guide for my um, assessment and online marking guide. I don't really need a description. That's self-explanatory. And then I'm going to go ahead and set the marking guide up itself. And what you do, basically, is add criteria on which the paragraph will be marked. So my first criterion is going to be, um, and I'm going to click to give it a name, it's going to be spelling and grammar. And the description for the student, well, and then I'm going to put in a score for that. Um, my spelling and grammar score is going to be, let's say, um, uh, two points. And so my description for the students is, Pay attention to uh, grammar and spelling. You will be awarded up to two points for um, correct grammar. And so that's kind of a redundant definition, but whatever. And then for the description for the markers, I'm just going to put a uh, um, award up to two points for grammar and spelling. 
and deduct half a point for errors up to a max of uh, two points. So in other words, students will, uh, uh, markers will deduct half a point for each spelling error and with a maximum of four errors. After that, they should not deduct any further than two points. Good, so the next criterion I'm gonna add is gonna be organization. And organization in for the description for the students, it's gonna be, uh, be sure to um, structure your paragraph appropriately. Including a topic sentence, body, and concluding sentence. Description for the markers, uh, award up to two points for um, their paragraph structure. And obviously the maximum points is gonna be two. And then finally add one more criterion, it's gonna be content. And the description for the students is going to be, uh, and in the description, I, I, should, I think for the assignment, I said at least three points. Um, explain at least three different types of online assessment. And for the markers, uh, award, to award two points for each different um, type of assessment explained up to a maximum of six points. And obviously the maximum score for this is gonna be six, so that the total is gonna add up to the full 10 points. And you could actually even add some comments if you would wish. So I'll add, a, well, the first comment would be um, well written and argued paragraph. Uh, what else might I add? Um, good points need to be more intentional with your paragraph structure, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And you could add as many comments as you'd like. Once you have finished adding your criteria and your frequently used comments, then you can save the marking guide and make it ready. You should be taken back to your assignment. And now when I go to grade my assignment, I will see instead of just the blank marking field, I should see my marking form appearing that will ask a teacher show me both the student's instructions and the marker's instructions. And I can expand that if it's too small. And I can see that I could add some comments in here, or I could just um, insert a frequently used comment by clicking here. And then I can actually score it by clicking and um, adding the score uh, in this box here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and score it. I'm not gonna bother to put any comments in. So I mean, this person did uh, had very good grammar and spelling. Organization was okay, left a little bit to be desired. And they did a fairly good job of explaining the points. So they've got five for that. And then when I go ahead and save that, I will see that automatically the total score has been entered for that assignment and entered into the grade book. So that's how you set up a mark scheme or a marking guide for your, uh, for your assignment so that it, you can help yourself or if you have um, external markers, come in and mark your various assignments. Just a quick review of how that's done. So I could just go to the assignment 
again, click on the cogwheel in the top right. Scroll down to advanced grading, and it will give me the option to define my marking guide. And you can set it up as I showed you earlier. So I hope this helped. If uh, you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. Click like on the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and most importantly, have a great day.